this is my runtime, my scala runtime, and we can see straight away we have the alarm indicator flashing in red. These different levels of alarm category and this demo, who are, we have the critical and red, the low and the blue, and the high and yellow. And we see how to configure this alarm indicator and Cytex Studio. So let's jump in Cytex Studio and open uh, and create a new page in the graphic builder. Based on situation awareness template. For this example, I'm adding a composite genies, a meter composite genies. And I'm using the equipment predefined project. And we can see here in the option of this equipment, you have display alarm indicator. By ticking this box, you have this red square. You can display as well an alarm flag and define the position of this alarm flag. This is the first step I want to talk about. The second point I want to talk is you can define an alarm indicator for a group of objects. So let's define a group of objects. So for example, two rectangles. After grouping your, your group of objects, you can define in properties, you have the alarm indicator option, and you can define an alarm indicator for a specific equipment here. So you can choose as well different options like equipment only, equipment and children, or children only. So I'm picking equipment and children just as a demo. And here we can define as well the position of your, your, your flag, your alarm flag. So now I'm saving my page. And I'm adding as well in the, in the navigation menu a button for this uh, specific page. So that's the page. And the position, we put the position number two, it will be before supply. I'm saving, compiling, and I can restart my client. I'm going to my navigation menu and the test page, and you can see straight away we have the equipment and the group of objects with alarm indicator flashing. So this was Alarm Indicator on SciTech 2018. If you have any question, ask in this video. Thanks for watching and don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Thanks.